Hi guys, so I got this um, June 1st at 6.30 in the morning. It's called The Rainbow, The False Messiah, and The Anointed. So here we go. The first one, The Rainbow. The kind you can see through the mist. That is for me. I place it there as a promise and a reminder. Before Noah, the rainbow did not exist on the earth. It is a promise that I will never again flood the entire earth, as I did when I saved only Noah and his family. I made a covenant with him. A covenant is a promise. Each time a rainbow appears in the sky, you should be reminded of me. The rainbow is of the prettiest pieces of art I place in your sky to be a reminder of me. You may not know that around my throne, there is a full rainbow. You on the earth have half of my rainbow. It is seen as an arch, but around my throne, a rainbow encircles. Rainbows can only exist with light present. Many things in my kingdom are from the spectrum of colors in the rainbow, or they have the true rainbow on or around them. It is a theme here. Beautiful jewels cut, cast rainbows from my light. You may not know that my fleet of angels also have rainbow properties because they can also radiate light. Some are different colors of the rainbow to denote rank. I have given very few on the earth the ability to see my angels, glimpses of them um, for some, long interactions for others. Julie sees them quite often, and her youngest daughter has the blessing of very special and unique interactions. Soon, it will be easy to see who I am using on the earth. The anointed will shine forth. You may have noticed changes as you see Julie's older videos and look at her now. I am preparing her cells to be able to radiate my light. You may sense a bit of it already, but the anointed that I choose will cast out light. Some will be surrounded by my rainbow. This is unique to these times. This will differentiate who are my servants, which ones are Christ-like and here to help you. In the deceptions to come, so much will be strange. I want to prepare you now so that when you see one of my bright ones, you will hear my words from them. I will use them as a vessel and as an extension of me. They will be given my power to help humanity. They will have been given this in their anointing with me at Geboa. They will have, they will be in a rare form and be as Christ on earth, the body of Christ in action. You will feel complete peace around them and you will be struck by the Holy Spirit to obey them. They will help you navigate difficult times. They will provide miracles and they will effectively share the gospel. They are my anointed sent to help. Be respectful of them. Show honor. The second one, the false messiah warning. As the author of the rainbow, I find it amusing that the evil one has tried to brand those with a similar mark. Those who reject how I created them. Those who wish they were different to the point of making moral or surgical changes. It amuses me that they aim and fail at the beauty of my rainbow and place their futile effort in their wear, flags, and designs, etc. Their version of a rainbow, the bland, flat, and lackluster attempt does not reach m the mystery and beauty of the original. The original has minute color changes, enhancing the beauty and multiplying how many colors can be found. Its arch reminds the viewer that everything under it has its covering the covering of the promise. But the evil one in his attempts has made a straight set of flat colored lines in brashy, bold color attempts, missing the beauty of where the colors mix, missing the beauty of the vague image seen in the mist. In his deception, he has made flat color lines with no bow. This is because he has no intent or ability to protect anyone from under its covering. It is just a bold, colorful pathway away from the truth. Be warned, the false Messiah is a chameleon. He will come on the scene supporting one thing, but then he will turn and abruptly entrap all those that followed him. 
He follows the bold, straight colored lines. He is a closet member and will use this movement on the earth to his advantage until he entraps the Christians and other conservatives who do not agree with the straight colored lines and what they believe. Once the entrapment is made, then he will turn on those who support the straight colored lines and their members. By the time the Antichrist arises, those that supported or associated as members will be cast out of society. The false messiah is a walking deception. Everything you hear or see from this man is led by the evil one. Do not be fooled. Do not agree. Do not say his name. Do not disagree. None of this. Not even in your own home. Everything is wired to pick up your words so that it can be used against you. Stay silent on the matter. Those who lack the discipline to stay silent will be rounded up and put into camps. You have been warned. If I am protecting you for your faithfulness and you lack discipline and speak against the false Messiah, I will not spare you from being rounded up. I will protect you in their care. But I have warned, heed the warning. Do not discuss him. Do not say his name. Be advised. My rainbow is the only authentic one. Mine will soon be evident. Do not speak against others. This is very important. Pray and ask for self-control if you have trouble minding your tongue. Number three, anointed. Anointed, you should know who you are at this point. If you do not know, then this is not for you. It is time for some of you to begin to clean your physical homes. Your home may be picked through by others. Leave a good example to others of my people. Leave also documents and important papers in an easy to find location for when your loved ones need to figure out the details. Yes, some of you will come back immediately and all of this will be unnecessary. Others will be gone for a time and leaving behind a less difficult situation for those here will help. Also, leave them a letter that explains where you have gone. You need not speak of your coming back because some because some of you may not even come back to your own country. Most will find your being translated very hard to believe. However, for a few, this letter will be their turning point. Speak to me and I will define your situation. I will guide you as to if you are one of the ones who needs to clean and leave a note. I will guide you, but seek me for your specific situation. For some who are not able to clean, clearly this does not apply to you. I know some of you have traded spending much time with me and in return have avoided your homes. It is time for these, you know your situation, to put some more effort into their homes so that I am well represented. Everyone keep your bills paid and up to date until I call you specifically to go home. Do not be concerned about your pets. Those who have pets who have gone before, you shall soon be reunited. You will be thrilled to see them in their perfected state. For those here, some pets are like Julie's Remy and will be translated at the same time you are. They will be trained into the pet corps that will help rescue hiders on missions. Others will stay here to comfort family. Some like Julie's Lacey, who will join the worship corps will be taken in a different way. Each anointed has a very unique and specific home dynamics. I know them all and I will manage all the details of each. Some families and spouses will be brought up at the time of the anointed's translation. Other anointed will be translated and brought back into their current roles, hardly noticed as gone, so their family will stay here through that process. Some families and spouses will be left behind if strategically effective in awakening them and turning them into effective leaders for the time of the war, used as my vessels for miracles, the spreading of the gospel and sheltering others. Trust me, let go, I have it. Ask me, wait upon me, and I will communicate with you and give you clarity for your personal situation. Soon, my anointed, soon. So I hope you found that encouraging and I'll see you.
see you next time.